hello everyone and welcome to another video in this video we are going to be making fried fish out of banana blossoms let's begin so for this recipe we're going to keep it simple we need a box of fish fry some all-purpose seasoning some sea salt some ground black pepper and some banana blossoms these are banana blossoms in a can but sometimes they can be a little difficult to find so uh, if you go to your local trader joe's or another health food store you might see the banana blossoms in a pack like this it's the same thing so don't worry about it if you cannot find the can from here we're going to take our fish fry and put it into a large mixing bowl this fish fry is a little different from other fish fries because it requires that you add water to it. So I'm using this brand, I think it's by McCormick. You can use your favorite fish fry and just follow the directions on the box. But I would suggest to put it into a large bowl because the banana blossoms are pretty uh, large when you take them out of this can. So as you can see, they are packed in water and I'm gonna just strain this water off and from here i put them on a pan a baking sheet and i'm just going to season them with our salt and pepper and if you want to you can add some of that um, all-purpose seasoning but you definitely want to make sure the banana blossoms have a little taste because they don't have any it's not um in brine i guess so it's not salted water the ones that i had they are just plain water so it doesn't have any flavor so you definitely want to season them up to give them some flavor now the fish fry has salt in it so you want to be careful on how much salt that you add to the banana blossoms and as i always say there's no wrong guys if you have some other seasoning that you want to put on here please do you just want to make sure that your banana blossoms have some taste I flipped them over and I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did on the front side to the back side and I kind of tried to separate them a little bit but they are very soft so as soon as you try to break them apart or move them they break apart and no problem with that it's it's okay if they break apart you should just season them up and then we're going to put them into our batter and fry them up so this is the second side I put some salt and pepper on this side and then I'm gonna move on to the next step. So here we have our fish fry. Oh, I'm just showing you, I'm using vegetable oil. That's gonna be cooking while we're seasoning up these banana blossoms. And to our fish fry, I did add about a teaspoon of that all-purpose seasoning that I had just to give the fish fry some additional flavor. I'm gonna follow the directions. It said to add two thirds cup of water. So that's what I did. And it was a little lumpy. So I just decided to take my whisk and just kind of make sure that every, all of the fish fry batter was just mixed up very well. Cause I didn't want to have like lumpy pieces in there. And then if you fry it up and then you taste some dry and some wet. So you definitely want to give it a nice good stirring if you decide to go with this fish fry. And I'm just going to stir that up and continue to stir it up until all of the lumps are out of the mix. When you're done, you should have your mixture look nice and smooth like this. Now, I'm going to add some Obey to one of my banana plum blossoms. I didn't put it in all of the mix because I wanted to see what the difference in taste would be to see if it gave it more of like a fish taste or if, um, a seafood reminder taste, I'll say. So on this piece, I did add some Obey. And what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to dredge that banana blossom and give it a nice, good coating in our batter. So you want to make sure that every piece is covered and we're going to do this so that we can make sure that it comes out crispy like fish. So the vegetable oil that I showed you earlier, I had it heating up in the background and once it got nice and hot, I added in that banana blossom. And I'm going to cook this until it browns on each side and then I took it out and here is our banana blossom guys. Doesn't that look nice and crispy? I know I still have flour on my finger, forgive me. <laughs> so um, it, it was very, very crispy. So I'm gonna cook up the rest of those pieces and then we are going to plate this. So I've also made some cheesy grits 
and I plated out banana blossoms on top. Doesn't that look great, guys? It does remind you of fish. And I tasted it. I tasted the one with the obey, and I tasted the one without. The one with the obey was very tasty, and the one without was tasty too. So it's your preference. You can add that obey in, and we actually made it very tasty. I wouldn't call this a vegan dish because that cheese is not vegan, more of a vegetarian. But I would really tell you guys to try this one out. It was quick, it was easy, and it was very tasty. Guys, thank you again for joining us for another video. If you haven't done so far, please like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell notification. We upload a new video every week. See you then. Bye.